Hey guys, it's Tony here. Today I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about my experiences of using the Spin Coffee Maker for the past month. And it's been absolutely amazing. I've been waiting for this thing for over a year now. I bought this thing in January of 2021. There are things that I like and there are things that I dislike. Malfunctions that tends to happen. It doesn't get rid of the fact that it makes great coffee. So let's, let's talk a little bit about it. It has a drip tray. It has a tray to have coffee grinds so you could literally put it in your compost. There's an area that you put water in. It also comes with a filter inside of it. On the very top is where you put your coffee beans where it grinds it down inside. The fact that it has a app to control the coffee. They also have a market for their coffee which is pretty cool. When I got the machine, I forgot to tell you guys, I got $200 uh, free coffee which is, you know, technically I bought it for a pre-order discount and I get $200 off. The way that this coffee machine works is you press a button either on your phone or on the coffee machine. It will literally heat up the water to the right temperature that the roaster had in mind. Each coffee roaster has their own specific way of making coffee. The temperature is different. The grinding process is also different. So this thing does all of that for you which is why if you drink Starbucks every single day you may as well just buy one of these. And here's a coffee that I made while filming the experience. So the things I like is the fact that it grinds the coffee down for you. It extracts it the way the roaster had in mind so that you know each coffee doesn't taste the same and it's it's well engineered. It took them years to perfect this. I like the fact that you could literally take out the coffee grinds and put it in your garden or do whatever you want with it without putting plastic to your waste. It dries out the, the coffee grinds so that it goes dry which then leads to the fact that the machine self cleans itself and of course you need to clean the machine once every 100 cycles or once every month depending on the use. And I gotta tell you I did that and it was a pain in the ass. It was like 45 minutes to do that. Oh. But nonetheless, uh, while you're cleaning it, you could look at your phone or your tablet, whichever you're using to clean the device with. Whichever device that you're using to control the cleaning process, you could see how long it will take for it to finish, which is great because while you're cleaning it, you could do other things. When it's all done, you could just be done with it. I like the fact that their app has a market for a bunch of coffee that you could just go on, type in what flavors you want. They have all those things. There's a place for it to put the beans on top to keep it fresh. You know how when you have coffee grinds, it's not really fresh. It tastes kind of weird when you uh, drink it, which is why when I drink pre-grounded and all that stuff, it tends to taste kind of weird. That's why I add milk and sugar into the equation and to have it taste better. Because of, the, of this machine extracting every single juice out of the coffee, I do not need to add milk or sugar in it. It just tastes absolutely, it's cleaning right now. I don't need any of those things. I just drink it straight up. And I've never done that before. Oh, it's cleaning right now. <laughs> Again. So every 15 minutes, it does this thing where it adds water to the coffee machine and then it spins and it cleans it once more so it doesn't clog up. Anyways, let's talk a little bit about things that I've been experiencing with the coffee machine. First of all, the very first time I used it, it straight up leaked water. I don't understand why. I thought uh, I did something wrong, so I just ignored that. Of course, I cleaned up and just ignored that bit. But here's the thing. Uh, it's been happening for me to me for three times already and I think it has to do with the water container that this thing comes with where if you're not seeding the water container onto the machine properly it can leak and lose suction which then leads to it leaking and then when I try to hook up the device via Bluetooth with my Samsung Galaxy S20 plus it did not work and then I decided let's try a different device so I use a Samsung Galaxy S8 which is <laughs> older than the S20 plus and it worked perfectly fine and then later on down the road for some reason the internet connection stopped working and then uh, the phone the Samsung Galaxy S8 stopped working with the coffee maker so I ended up having, having to reset the connection so I'm like okay so let's try connecting the Samsung Galaxy S20 plus again and it worked and I guess it needed some updates but it never really updated until uh, that uh, internet blackout that I had uh, but now everything works out the way that it should the other thing that is a problem for me anyways. Two ways to extract a certain amount 
of fluid or coffee out of the device is by using your phone or pressing the buttons on the coffee maker itself. Now the problem is you customize the buttons and you expect it to have the same fluid to, that comes out of it whether it's from your phone or pressing the buttons on the device it should come out the same but it does. The other thing is when you use their app there's, a, there's an area on the app uh, specifically on the coffee maker it tells you to put the brand coffee or the coffee roaster or the coffee bag onto this one location. There will be times where it doesn't work. You put in the coffee that you ordered and it doesn't even work at all. It will say invalid or or even if, when you take a picture using the app to recognize what coffee that you ordered to add it to the coffee, it doesn't work. It says invalid or it doesn't recognize it and when you try to type in the brand name, it doesn't work which is kind of stupid. I'm guessing they need a new update or something, I'm not 100% sure. But it happened to me once before, don't know why. So I ended up having to use a coffee that I already ordered. This is important too because the way that the machine works is the coffee maker can grind the way that the coffee roaster had in mind and create a water temperature that the roaster had in mind as well to make the perfect coffee every single time. Which is why it's frustrating that their app didn't recognize my freaking coffee that I purchased from their freaking market. But other than that, it's still a great machine. Now, you, like I said, you drink Starbucks every single day. You may as well just buy these, save up money and buy this, but a lot of people can't wait. And I think that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you guys like what you guys see, subscribe, I guess. <laughs> see ya!